Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another here journal for you. Leviticus chapter 23. Leviticus after the exodus from Egypt. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Leviticus, a chapter at a time, and doing a here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now let's read and listen to Leviticus chapter 23 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 23, The Appointed Festivals The Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. These are the Lord's appointed festivals, which you are to proclaim as official days for holy assembly. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of complete rest, an official day for holy assembly. It is the Lord's Sabbath day, and it must be observed wherever you live. In addition to the Sabbath, these are the Lord's appointed festivals, the official days for holy assembly that are to be celebrated at their proper times each year. Passover and the Festival of Unleavened Bread The Lord's Passover begins at sundown on the 14th day of the first month. On the next day, the 15th day of the month, you must begin celebrating the Festival of Unleavened Bread. This festival to the Lord continues for seven days, and during that time the bread you eat must be made without yeast. On the first day of the festival, all the people must stop their ordinary work and observe an official day for holy assembly. For seven days you must present special gifts to the Lord. On the seventh day, the people must again stop all their ordinary work to observe an official day for holy assembly. Celebration of First Harvest then the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. When you enter the land I am giving you, and you harvest its first crops, bring the priest a bundle of grain from the first cutting of your grain harvest. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest will lift it up before the Lord so it may be accepted on your behalf. On that same day you must sacrifice a one-year-old male lamb with no defects as a burnt offering to the Lord. With it you must present a grain offering consisting of four quarts of choice flour moistened with olive oil. It will be a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. You must also offer one quart of wine as a liquid offering. Do not eat any bread or roasted grain or fresh kernels on that day until you bring this offering to your God. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation wherever you live. The Festival of Harvest From the day after the Sabbath, the day you bring the bundle of grain to be lifted up as a special offering, count off seven full weeks. Keep counting until the day after the seventh Sabbath, fifty days later. Then present an offering of new grain to the Lord. From wherever you live, bring two loaves of bread to be lifted up before the Lord as a special offering. Make these loaves from four quarts of choice flour and bake them with yeast. They will be an offering to the Lord from the first of your crops. Along with the bread, present seven one-year-old male lambs with no defects, one young bull, and two rams as burnt offerings to the Lord. These burnt offerings, together with the grain offerings and liquid offerings, will be a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Then you must offer one male goat as a sin offering, and two one-year-old male lambs as a peace offering. The priest will lift up the two lambs as a special offering to the Lord, together with the loaves representing the first of your crops. These offerings, which are holy to the Lord, belong to the priests. That same day will be proclaimed an official day for holy assembly, a day on which you do no ordinary work. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation wherever you live. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields, and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. Leave it for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. 
the festival of trumpets. The Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. On the first day of the appointed month in early autumn, you are to observe a day of complete rest. It will be an official day for holy assembly, a day commemorated with loud blasts of a trumpet. You must do no ordinary work on that day. Instead, you are to present special gifts to the Lord. The Day of Atonement Then the Lord said to Moses, Be careful to celebrate the Day of Atonement on the tenth day of that same month, nine days after the Festival of Trumpets. You must observe it as an official day for holy assembly, a day to deny yourselves and present special gifts to the Lord. Do no work during that entire day, because it is the Day of Atonement when offerings of purification are made for you, making you right with the Lord your God. All who do not deny themselves that day will be cut off from God's people, and I will destroy anyone among you who does any work on that day. You must not do any work at all. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed from generation to generation, wherever you live. This will be a Sabbath day of complete rest for you, and on that day you must deny yourselves. This day of rest will begin at sundown on the ninth day of the month and extend until sundown on the tenth day. The Festival of Shelters And the Lord said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Begin celebrating the Festival of Shelters on the fifteenth day of the appointed month, five days after the Day of Atonement. This festival to the Lord will last for seven days. On the first day of the festival, you must proclaim an official day for holy assembly, when you do no ordinary work. For seven days, you must present special gifts to the Lord. The eighth day is another holy day on which you present your special gifts to the Lord. This will be a solemn occasion, and no ordinary work may be done that day. These are the Lord's appointed festivals. Celebrate them each year as official days for holy assembly by presenting special gifts to the Lord, burnt offerings, grain offerings, sacrifices, and liquid offerings, each on its proper day. These festivals must be observed in addition to the Lord's regular Sabbath days, and the offerings are in addition to your personal gifts, the offerings you give to fulfill your vows, and the voluntary offerings you present to the Lord. Remember that this seven-day festival to the Lord, the Festival of Shelters, begins on the fifteenth day of the appointed month, after you have harvested all the produce of the land. The first day and the eighth day of the festival will be days of complete rest. On the first day, gather branches from magnificent trees, palm fronds, boughs from leafy trees, and willows that grow by the streams. Then celebrate with joy before the Lord your God for seven days. You must observe this festival to the Lord for seven days every year. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be observed in the appointed month from generation to generation. For seven days you must live outside in little shelters. All native-born Israelites must live in shelters. This will remind each new generation of Israelites that I made their ancestors live in shelters when I rescued them from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So Moses gave the Israelites these instructions regarding the annual festivals of the Lord. And that was Leviticus chapter 23 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal, first the highlight, Leviticus chapter 23 verses 1 to 4 and verses 37 to 38. The appointed festivals. Verse 1, the Lord said to Moses, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. These are the Lord's appointed festivals, which you are to proclaim as official days for holy assembly. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but on the seventh day is a Sabbath day of complete rest, an official day for holy assembly. It's the Lord's Sabbath day. It must be observed wherever you live. In addition to the Sabbath, These are the Lord's appointed festivals, the official days for holy assembly that are to be celebrated at their proper times each year. Verse 37, these are the Lord's appointed festivals. Celebrate them each year as official days for holy assembly 
by presenting special gifts to the Lord, burn offerings, grain offerings, sacrifices, and liquid offerings, each on its proper day. These festivals must be observed in addition to the Lord's regular Sabbath days. And the offerings are in addition to your personal gifts, the offerings you give to fulfill your vows, and the voluntary offerings you present to the Lord. So, what's my explanation? God instructed Moses to instruct the people about the Lord's appointed festivals, when and how to celebrate them. Note that there is some sort of sacrifice for the people for each of the festivals in honor and obedience to the Lord. So, what's the application for us today? Today, the Jerusalem temple remains destroyed ever since the Romans decimated it in A.D. 70. There have been no temple celebrations or sacrifices ever since. Jesus is our ultimate sacrifice, and we believers in our own bodies are His temple. Are we observing all that God is directing us? How are we celebrating Him in our lives? Are we sacrificing time, resources, our own will in celebration to the Lord? Reference Psalm 150 verses 1 to 6. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with the tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians 10, 31. So whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 5, 8. Let us therefore celebrate the festival, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Psalm 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Romans 14, 5 and 6. One Each person one esteems one day is better than another, while in another his own esteems mind. all days the alike. The one who observes the day observes it in honor of the Lord. The one who eats, eats in honor of the Lord, since he gives thanks to God, while the one who abstains, abstains in honor of the Lord and give thanks to God. Psalm 16:11 You make known to me the path of life in your presence there is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore Philippians 4:4 4, 4, Rejoice in the Lord always again I will say rejoice Colossians 2:16 and 17 Therefore let no one pass judgment on you in question of food and drink, or with regard to a festival or a new moon or Sabbath. These are a shadow of the things to come, but the substance belongs to Christ. So what's my response? Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness, for setting me free from your bondage of sin. I celebrate you, Lord, every day. I choose to strive to follow you faithfully and obediently forever. I pray for any that do not know you, that they will seek and find you as Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Now how about you? Why don't you try here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, 
Better read John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. And talk to God about it. Talk to God every day, all the time. He loves you. Seek Him now. God bless.